What is going on, everybody? It's your boy, John, and welcome back to Gearbox. So today is going to be a nice and chill day. First, we're going to start with the WRX. Then we're going to start with the F-150. And we're just hanging out, really. I mean, nothing, nothing too crazy. Obviously, want to keep the upload schedule, you know, nice and tight. So, um, need to get a video out there. Figured maybe we just hang out and do a couple little things here and there. That's exactly what we're going to do. So, to start off today, we have the Morimoto, uh, basically, license plate lights. Um, so, actually, a quick little story. When I... Uh, moved my WRX from air suspension over to coilovers. Obviously, when you're dealing with suspension, you need to get it aligned. Well, getting it aligned was an absolute nightmare. There's not a soul in Greenville who will align a lowered car, and it's not even that low, really. Um, so anyway, long story short, I found a place that my tuner uses for their cars, they did a walk around check of the car, just make sure everything's good. It's uh, Davidson Automotive, if you are local to Greenville. Um, awesome place, awesome people, they did a great job. But when they did the walk around, they found the license plate lights. One of them was out. So if they would have never done that, I would have never known. So anyway, we are going to replace those. It should be pretty simple. Let's see here. To my understanding, it is take off this interior stuff here. There's going to be, I think, four, let's call them 10 mils here. You are then able to pull this trim piece off, and then you'll be able to get to the housing. Um, pretty simple. Just need to knock it out. So I'm going to set you all up for some B-roll. Then we'll get onto the truck. And we'll be good to go. For those who are following along, we have the interior piece done here. There are four interior clips. Then we get to the light, so we're just going to need to do the little twisty twist, kind of like we did with the F-150. And then we have these bolts and nuts right here. Need to figure out the exact size on the actual socket. Uh, but looks pretty small, probably like an eight if I had to guess. Uh, so let me go get that, do that, pull the trim piece off, bada bing, bada boom, we're good. So it is in fact an eight millimeter socket. Now one thing to keep in mind, um, you're probably going to need either a like deep socket or one of these ratcheting um, wrenches, or I mean you can use a regular eight millimeter wrench, but these ones are short enough to where a regular socket will work. These ones are long, so just keep that in mind. But now I believe we're at the point where we can basically pull this, so we're gonna pull it out. Um, and then you'll be exposed to the housing. We'll replace the housing and um, kind of button everything back up. Super easy install. I kind of wish I didn't have to do this because it's such a pain in the ass, but it is what it is. And uh, I guess we'll finish it and then <laughs> get on to bigger and better things. We have got the lights in, here they are. They are actually extremely bright, like that hurt. Um, but pretty simple guys, one thing that you are gonna wanna do if you are installing these, so basically here's the OEM housing and here's kind of the connecting wire up to the LED. Um, you're going to wanna take out the actual light bulb here um, and you're gonna put in of course the male end of this light to the light bulb pretty simple it just took me a while to figure out the orientation of everything but not bad once again so now what we need to do we need to get the trim piece back on button it up with the eight mils button it up interior clips then we're good uh, just thought I'd show you that since we do have kind of a boring uh, chill relax whatever you want to call it video today um, but definitely glad I did that not too difficult and honestly it looks like a pretty great upgrade to me so that's got to be worth something right so now that we have the wrx buttoned up i want to kind of transition to the f-150 into what i would consider to be kind of the main part of this video so i'm sure at this point by the thumbnail and title and all that stuff um this truck has been amazing don't get me wrong the truck has been phenomenal absolutely love it um my 
only only gripe is there is some rattle that happens at like from zero to maybe 20 miles an hour uh, low load so like low acceleration and it sounds like a heat shield but I've read a million things I'm pretty damn certain it's a heat shield I think it should be more toward the front of the truck um, so either way guys I'm gonna go under the truck today and see if I can figure it out I'm not sure um, but it's at least worth a check I've been saying I was gonna do this for months now and it it didn't happen in the beginning um, it slowly but surely kind of happened um, but from some things I've read if it is a heat shield there's half of it that's like bolted down and the other half is tack welded sometimes those tack welds will break um, so just need to check it out but I wanted to obviously bring you guys along to kind of show you the process of finding out these rattles because they are a known thing within you know this gen f-150 specifically for me 2019 f-150 xlt um so let me go get my creeper real quick we'll get under the truck and if i see anything in you know particular I'll, I'll you know grab the camera and show you but i need to figure it out it's quite annoying so enough talking about it let's go do it find this rattle all right we're laying down on the ground. Um, when finding a rattle, obviously the biggest thing you're gonna wanna try to do, is just kinda hit some different, I guess, places on the truck that you might suspect the rattle coming from. Uh, one example of this, if we go under here, and if I can get unstuck, is this piece right here. If you compare that to the other side, or it might be this. I'm gonna bet it's probably this, which is exactly what was expected based on some of the YouTube videos I saw. Um, so what I'm gonna do, this is kind of tough because that's an exhaust piece, so you can't really zip tie it, but I might just zip tie it and say, screw it. Um, but yeah, this is probably, more than likely this is the culprit right here and you can just see it's kind of rusted away this truck was i guess originally in canada um so you can tell based on the engine block and some of the the little rust here and there but i mean all in all this is my first time under this truck all in all it's pretty damn clean so that's exciting um but yeah, so anyway, let me get, let me see if I have any like V-band clamps uh, to replace that. I don't think I do. So I'm just going to have to, I guess, probably zip tie it. I don't, I, I don't know what else to do. I mean, I, I can go to like, you know, O'Reilly's or something today and get one, but who knows? So anyway, if I can get unstuck from here... That is going to probably be the culprit. So what I'm gonna do is actually get that down. Uh, at least let me let me zip tie it for now and see if that fixes the um, rattle. And then if it is, I will clip that off and then go get a V-band and we should be good to go. y'all now that we got the exhaust rattle buttoned up that is going to do it for another episode of gearbox if you liked what you saw please give this video a big fat thumbs up if you have any questions comments or concerns i know there are apparently a couple different rattles um you know that this gen truck has uh but that was actually that was the fix i went and drove it around i tried to mimic each and every way that it could possibly want to rattle it did not um, so that's exciting so i'll go to autozone today get a v-band clamp and that should solve it for the foreseeable future uh, but once again if there are any questions comments concerns uh, please drop them in the comments section down below as always guys hit subscribe hit the notification bell you know the drill and until next time peace